of each of these vaccine candidates is on WHO's website. So we have at the very advanced stage already the uh, two Chinese manufacturers, Sinopharm and Sinovac. We have a, 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 a team of inspectors in China since the second week of January. They're waiting the quarantine to finish and they will start inspections next week. We have uh, two vaccines that we will, should have a decision on the 15th of, of January, which are two AZ derived vaccines. One is the Serum Institute of India, and the other one is the SK Bio in Korea, which are vaccine producers that will provide to the COVAX facility. So we'll have a decision now. Uh, what we we want is that those vaccines, that the, those vaccine manufacturers that have more advanced vaccine candidates finalized in phase 2B or phase 3 trials to come to the to, to the WHO emergency use list. And why is this important? Because you know the, the WHO pre-qualification of vaccines exists already since 1986. So it's not a new product, it's not a new service that WHO does, and it has pre-qualified 100 and 60 vaccines throughout all these years and this facilitates two things first the un procurement by unicef and PAO, and second it facilitates what we call the reliance mechanism it facilitates that countries that do not have a, a strong experience in assessing vaccines uh, because they don't have production or whatever you know they can rely on who's assessment to do the to, to do an emergency use authorization or, or to allow entry into the countries. But WHO can only progress if it receives the information it needs from the companies. That's the call that we have. We have, uh, we have the criteria for the assessment are internationally agreed criteria and it does not differentiate whether it's a multinational manufacturer or a, a developing country manufacturer. These are agreed internationally criteria and they were published last year as well. So we very much welcome that companies do provide the information according to this criteria that includes safety, quality, which you see in the, the clinical trials, but also the good manufacturing practices.